You're watching Action News Now. Storm Tracker weather. Coverage you can count on. Hashtag Operation Chill. 7-Eleven and the Chico Police Department are teaming up to reward kids for good behavior. Kids can earn a coupon for a free Slurpee from the police department by doing things like wearing a helmet or just holding the door open for someone. And a Slurpee, who doesn't love a <laughs> Slurpee, especially in the summertime? That's right. Let's check in with Chief Meteorologist Jason Stiff. Jason, it's hot enough out there. I think we'd have to drink that Slurpee pretty fast. Yes, indeed. I would like a large, about six foot three would be good. <laughs> My height, that's about the amount of Slurpee that we read right now because it is very hot outside. Not the hottest temperatures we've had all year thus far, but it's way above average. Look where we are. Weaverville is 104 degrees right now. It's 102 at the Chico Airport, but it's hotter downtown. 104 degrees in Oroville, 108 degrees in Corning, as well as Red Bluff and 100 degree, 9 degrees in Redding. But look at this. We have already tied two records for today. Redding has had a high of 110. Red Bluff has had a high thus far of 108. Both tying records, and we still have a lot more heat going forward. This is just the beginning for us. Now, we do have some showers and storms trying to develop over the higher terrain of northeastern California, even pushing into far eastern Shasta County. But most of what you see isn't hitting the ground or it's just light amounts of rain. This is that same monsoonal moisture I've been tracking since last week and I've been telling you about. We expect more of those clouds late tonight through Wednesday and Thursday, and there will be additional chances for some showers and storms. These clouds could limit how hot we are tomorrow, but only by a degree or two. We're not going to have big time cooling from this monsoonal moisture unless you're near one of these showers. We'll have a chance for some late night showers on Wednesday into early Thursday and also some additional showers and storms breaking out again over the higher terrain, not the valley. Thursday afternoon. The amounts of rain that we're going to expect, most places will receive nothing, but if you're near one of those showers or storms that develops, we could have some places between five hundredths of an inch and a tenth of an inch, but if it's a slow moving storm, you could have locally heavier rainfall, a third of an inch to a half inch possible, but that's going to be the exception to the rule. So we have more fire danger because the potential for the thunderstorms, dry lightning strikes, all the higher terrain under red flag warnings for tomorrow and for our eastern counties until early Thursday morning. So please be mindful of that. Still plenty of heat. Heat advisors began this morning at 11 a.m. for the valley and foothills. They last until Friday evening at 8 p.m. with more 105 to 110 degree temperatures in our forecast. So if you've got to get some exercise in, perhaps a stationary bike indoors would be a better option tomorrow. It's going to be hazy and hot. Temperatures again a degree or two cooler tomorrow, but that's really about it. Here's your forecast for tomorrow. We're going to have a heat advisory and a red flag warning out for Trinity County. Highs in the 90s and triple digits for the Northeast. Also a chance for some showers and thunderstorms. Highs just about as hot as today, but it's going to be widespread 90s for the ridge. A few more clouds tomorrow and slightly cooler. One or two degrees. Most everyone's still in the 90s. 88 degrees for Butte Meadows. For the Valley, we're going to have some haze tonight. Overnight lows in the upper 60s and lower 70s. Highs still very hot. 105 to 108 degrees tomorrow in the Chico area. Lows tonight in the lower 70s. Highs 103 to 105 under a partly cloudy sky, but fewer clouds on Thursday. It's going to get hotter. 105 in Chico then dropping down to 95 by Sunday. For Redding, still between 105 and 110 tomorrow through Saturday. Dropping out of the upper 90s for one day on Sunday.